Exclusive details from a report of autopsies conducted on some COVID-19 bodies at the East District Hospital shows a significant number of some of the deceased did not die of COVID-19 necessarily, but comorbidities, that is, other health issues. The revelation also shows that some of the deceased actually died of coronavirus after it attacked their lungs and kidneys. Revealing portions of the report to join us is Latif Idris, the leader of the COVID-19 test team in Ghana. Dr. Samo Kaba Akoria said many COVID-19 patients have died because case managers tend to pay more attention to treating COVID-19 at the detriment of the comorbidities, that is the underlying health, uh, health uh, issues they had earlier, some of which are more lethal and at critical stages resulting in the deaths that could have either been avoided or at least a situation where the lives of those persons were elongated. There's more in this report. From what we've seen, we don't have so many cases yet to build a big case and say this is general. But for the little we have done, what we've come out to, what has come out, what the voices of the dead, as you said, and I said a silent language of the dead is saying, is that some people actually die of COVID. That means that without, the COVID died of COVID, meaning that actually is the COVID that killed them. Some die with COVID, meaning that COVID is not what killed them, but they had it in them. So you might have a case that is positive of COVID. It doesn't mean the COVID is what killed the person. That's why when we talk of the comorbidities. Because we realize that in some cases, it was actually the comorbidity that killed the patient. And that interpretation to us is that when you have a patient, for instance, who is hypertensive, who is diabetic, or who has kidney disease, and I'll, I'll be happy to tell you that even right here in Ghana, some patients with chronic kidney issues have had dialysis. Right? Because we've come to realize that if you treat that primary disease, very aggressively, the person stands the chance of surviving. Surviving COVID. As to surviving the COVID, as in if the beginning we are all afraid, oh, he has comorbidity, it, it will complicate this. To, no, this time we say, okay, he has comorbidity, let's attack the comorbidity strongly, address the COVID as well simultaneously, but pay a lot of attention to the comorbidity. Once we get that fixed, He's now developing like any other patient with COVID, which we know that uh, very few die uh, when it comes to the mortality rate. So we stand a chance of uh, uh, improving on our treatment uh, guideline. And that is one of the things that I think has been uh, very uh, satisfactory. One of the things that we, it goes to attacks the heart, the lungs, of course, is the primary place. We all know that's why everybody talks of ventilators. But the kidneys, uh, you, people have even come out to say COVID is a disease of the whole body. Because once you see it, it attacks the lungs, attacks the kidneys, attacks. So we've come to see that we have to really deal with, uh, uh, with it comprehensively. Mm. Yeah. During the pathology, what they, they took the direct samples right and they sent for pcr and that came back as positive which even tells you that one is me doing the test through your nose or your mouth and one is taking the tissue directly where the thing is has affected you and that came positive and that was why we said okay if during the the, the when the person was alive it was negative there are so many reasons that could account to that but w when he tested the tissue and it came positive, positive. that is really confirmatory. So this is, I'm going to ask uh, this tricky question. So with this, would it be safe for one to say that we may be underreporting COVID-19 deaths in Ghana with this single case in point? You know, uh, one of the strategies that every country has is to avoid a health system overwhelm. 
and the next thing is this. This was a personal conversation I had with a colleague in Italy who was dealing with COVID, or who is dealing with COVID cases as I talk to you. And he said to me, we used to have to see 100 cases a day in our emergency room. At the height of the COVID, we were only seeing three to nine. Because the majority of the people didn't want to come to the hospital with the fear that they will get the COVID. And there were now a lot of people were brought in dead. Because they are home when it's critical before they come to the hospital. By the time they get there, they are dead. Now, this is what happens. Some jurisdictions will say, right, all those brought in dead, if they had um, uh, respiratory uh, breathing problems and this, then COVID. Others will say, let's confirm by doing a test. In our situation, when they bring you in, we do the test. And even if you die and we are not sure, we do the test to confirm. So what is happening now is that, yes, you might get people dying at home with COVID. They come in. You might not have had the opportunity to do autopsy or do the test. But because our figures are not so high yet, one will be little reserved to say that all brought in dead are COVID. But it has come to our attention. And I even remember we sustained a conversation with the minister on this issue. Uh, we call it BIDs, brought in dead. What do we do? And we've put plans to test them. Once you get to us, we will test you. And then we'll get to know whether people are, more people are dying of COVID than we are expecting.